morning, everybody. We're north of Oklahoma City. Oklahoma. See what they did there? That way you always know what state you're in when you know what city you're in. You know what city you're in when you know what state you're in. I like it. I like it a lot. stopped at this loves uh, just north of the city like I said and they have these numbered spots but it is free parking I was worried because usually when they number the spots they want you to go in and pay for your specific spot I parked in spot 35 because I'm 35 years old and also it just happens to be a great spot because there's no one beside me there there's no one beside me here and it's a straight shot out this open area here so if anybody did want to park beside me it have to be a pretty bad backer upper to back into me Though I have faith that people could still do it, but this is the safest spot I could find. Today the goal is to get to between San Antonio, Texas and Laredo, Texas. I have to deliver in Laredo tomorrow at 9 p.m. So it's in the evening, so I gotta park somewhere tonight and then I'll be there all day tomorrow and then I'll... So there's a T8 just north of Laredo. I looked up all of the reviews from the truck stops in the area down around Laredo there between San Antonio and Laredo and none of them, not one review has said anything about security issues or security concerns or anything like that, or like it's not safe to park here. So I'm guessing it's a pretty decent, safe neighborhood. So uh, there's a TA just north of Laredo, but I did notice in all the reviews that they're charging $8 a night to park there now, so they are not getting my business. We discussed this last night, right? You, uh, you're gonna charge me to park? I'm gonna do everything I can not to park there and not to bring my business to, to that business. It's not my fault that I have to park. It's the government that's telling me I have to stop. So charge them, go after them. Just my opinion, I don't know. We had this discussion yesterday. I won't dive back into it. Anyways, they're charging $8 a night to park at the TA near Laredo, so I'm not going there. It's a flying J across the street, but it looks like it fills up. And I don't wanna get all the way down to Laredo and not have anywhere to park. I mean, I guess I could come back north, but, uh, I'm still gonna park between San Antonio and, and Laredo. I, I found there's a whole bunch of truck stops down I-35 there, and they all seem to have lots of parking. According to the reviews on Trucker Path, they never seem to be that full. There's always gonna be parking late at night. So uh, we'll pick one once we get down there. We'll get through San Antonio and about halfway down to Laredo. That'll put me about 60 miles down to Laredo, 60 to 100 miles. Somewhere in there I wanna stop. That'll be a full day of driving. That's about 600 miles from where I'm at right now, or a thousand kilometers. So it's not getting any closer. We're gonna go into Oklahoma City here. I have to quickly grab fuel, because it's the cheapest. Here at this Loves, fuel here for me, $3.88 per gallon. Just down the road, less than an hour in Oklahoma City, $2.88 a gallon. I checked, I checked, and I double and quadruple checked. It's actually a dollar cheaper per gallon just down the road in Oklahoma. So Oklahoma, I love you. I'm gonna come give you some of my money. Thanks for not taking too much. For all of my Canadian family, friends, and everybody back home, uh, 288 a gallon US. Converted into Canadian, Canadian speak. In Canadian dollars, in liters, that is one dollar and one cent per liter, Canadian. What was the gas price on the pump when you saw it last up there in Canada, where you're at? Let me know, let me know down below in the comment section, what are diesel prices, because I'm buying diesel. What are the diesel prices in your town or your city where you're at? Let me know. Down in Oklahoma, it's a dollar and one cent per liter, Canadian. God bless America, you know that? God bless America, God bless Oklahoma, and God bless your cheap fuel prices.
cheaper i should say cheaper there's always room to get cheaper you know it's, diesel in the states used to be a lot cheaper too so i, I get it but man where i come from it's a good day it's a good day i'm gonna make sure my lookers are clean it's so hard to get these perfectly clean uh over the years i've scratched them pretty good no not too bad but enough that it bothers me sometimes i gotta keep them very clean there we go uh-huh how does it look how's it look does it look good does it look good all right good enough good 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 all right the last day of our trip south we got lots of time to get there doesn't matter what time we get there tonight because we we got all day tomorrow yet to wait a 9 p.m appointment that is not normal for uh for uh roll tights or flatbeds or dry vans usually it would be a morning delivery but this is okay i, I actually don't mind it gives me a little bit more time so we're gonna work with it 9 p.m. Lights are on. Trucks in gear. Windows are down for fresh air. Let's make sure our trailer's still attached. I looked. It looked like it was. Roll forward. Spike. They work. Release. Bang. Checklist. Completo. Hey, Penner, you're from Steinbach. Didn't even look at me. It's gonna be a good day. There's no snow here in Oklahoma. And I don't think there'll be any snow in Texas. We'll see. I hope not. I hope not one snowflake falls because everyone panics then. <coughs> Nobody coming from that way. All right. of the day merging back onto the freeway getting going with a nice coffee mm -hmm. I'd like to find a blue beacon if I can today this whole unit needs a wash truck and trailer Native America. In 100 meters, turn right on, north I-35. 
75 and then turn left in 170 meters. Like I haven't been in Oklahoma for probably like, I don't know, 10 years. Close to, not quite, but you know, eight, 10 years. And all of their state signs, their state slogan used to be Oklahoma, Native America. Now every single state sign that I've seen, I had a yield sign there. Every single state sign I've seen, they've removed that. Turn left on 122nd Street and then approaching destination on the left side in 10 meters. Okay, there's Flying J straight ahead. Am I in the straight ahead lane? What lane is this guy in? I think I gotta go straight. Green means go, bud. There you go. Okay, you're going straight. You never know. Sometimes they just don't want to use their blinkers. on the left side. I see it. I see it. I can't miss it. I got nowhere else to go. We're here. Flying J Travel Plaza. This says it's in Edmond, Oklahoma, but to me on the map it looks like northern Oklahoma City. But I'm not from here. Oh look and there's one pump left all the way on the end for us. How nice. This is where I wanted to spend the night but Trucker Path, my app, was uh, saying that it was full last night already, and I believe it. Wonderful. I'm here for my cheap juice. Come on, Oklahoma. Tell the government that I am fueling. Once again, they always want to know what I do with every second of my life. Even all that time I had for holidays, for Christmas holidays there, on Christmas vacation, Good movie, by the way, Christmas Vacation. Squirrel. What was I saying? Oh yeah, every, every minute that I have off duty as well, the government needs to have a record of that as well. So all of that is logbooks, that all gets handed in as well, so that they can see. Oh yes, 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 and this and this day, he was off duty, yes. Every day of my life since I've started trucking has been recorded by the government. Isn't that interesting? Get going. I found another blue beacon just down the road I was gonna go to, but today when I'm filming this is New Year New Year's Day, and they're closed. So we'll be riding dirty for another day, yeah. Unfortunately. Maybe there'll be a blue beacon around where I'm, uh, gonna be parking overnight tonight and I'll have all day tomorrow to go get it washed oh this is not an exit this is definitely not an exit I went the wrong way all right well back around this way this place is filling up it's early it's already almost full my day is just starting Maybe it's still full, I don't know. It was emptier when I got here. Now it's just, trucks keep piling in. There's gonna be a tight corner here with that guy parked right there. We got this. Not the kind of lot I would want to spend the night in anyways, because as you can see here, it's just packed full. I mean, it's very tight. Hard to get into a lot of these spots. I don't be able to find a parking spot. I'd just be worried about who would be parking next to me. And get in and out of here. Like if there's another truck coming in here from our right, one of us is gonna have to back up. get behind us now. Some serious miles. We're full of fuel and we got no time to waste.
now. The sun is still above the horizon over there. About to go down though. And this is exit one, the last exit in Oklahoma before we get to Texas. And we still have another eight hours of driving to get down to Laredo. Today, so not very many people are out. 
thankfully. These big American cities just amaze me, just massive. Can you imagine these, like what China would look like driving through there? It's just the amount of people clustered together. All right, everybody, don't do anything crazy. Don't cut me off. I know you want to. I have a feeling you want to get in this lane. Now you're going to stay there? Good. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Nice signal. Wonderful. Wonderful. You can usually tell when people want to get in front of you. I don't know. Maybe it's just like a sixth sense us truckers have. Like Someone passes you and you're just like, I know he's going to cut in front of me. You can just tell by their expression of driving, you know? Like this guy, he's gonna, he's gonna get impatient. He's gonna tailgate that pickup. He might come around the right side, but he sees there's an SUV there, so he can't get around that way, so he's just gonna tailgate that other pickup. Well, maybe be a little bit more patient. Okay. I, I don't understand why people hog the left lane either. I don't get it. And then you wonder, why are they tailgating me? Maybe because you're doing 55 in the fast lane. I don't know.
gonna be stopping at the truck stop just up the street here and there's something's like burning like crazy here. What is this? Whole semi trucks on fire. Whoa. Oh, I can feel the heat. I can feel the heat through the windows. Through the windows of my truck. As I drove past. Wow. This is exit 39. This is the town of Encino. 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 Stop at the Road Ranger. What's this guy doing? Oh, he had a stop sign. That's why I didn't. I didn't think he had a stop sign. So yeah, 39 miles from the end of I-35 at the Mexico border. This is uh, where I'm going to spend the night. Closer than I thought, but I read all the reviews of all the places around here. And all the reviews seem to be pretty good. None of them were talking about, you know, there being any security issues or... So it seems like everything is fine. 200 meters, your destination will be on the left. Gotta remember, I'm a Canadian coming down here, so I, I, I don't know the area. So uh, I'm always hesitant and careful when I go to new areas or areas that I'm not familiar with or haven't been to in a while. You have zero hours and 29 minutes until you exceed the 11 hour drive in Dublin. In accordance with the USA I have 29 minutes left to drive time. 29 minutes left to find a parking spot. There's a Loves on the right and a Road Ranger on the left. I'm going to the Road Ranger because I like their parking lot better. Your destination is on the left. I know that. Continue on this road for 71 kilometers. And Pilot, I mean, pardon me, Loves will get filled up first anyway because everyone are like sheep. They all go to those big name truck stops. That, Pilot, Flying J, TA, Petro, Loves, they always fill up first. Everybody crowds into those. Not as many people go to these smaller ones. This is where I go. Guaranteed parking. You turn if possible. No, no, Karen, we're gonna go to bed. Tons of parking here. Beautiful. Wonderful. Look at all this beautiful thing. So I think I found a good spot. I think I did. I mean, there are plenty to choose from. But... So here we are. They have these spots right here beside the scale. I'm just getting out here to make sure that they're not like special spots, like handicapped spots or reserve spots or anything. No, anyone can park here. Nice. I gotta move forward a little bit, oops. Right on the side here. I might actually move. It's 12 degrees Celsius right now. I have a feeling as soon as the sun comes up, it's gonna get hot. So I could park right in here. I think that'd be a little bit safer. The only reason I say that is because trucks will be coming around here, and if they're not careful, they'll nick my hood, but I don't think they would. I think I should be good here. Just like when they come around here. Ah, we should be good. I'm just gonna double check, but I think this is the furthest south I've been 
in since 2009. It's 2024 now. A long time. That's 15 years. Yep. Yep. Oh, wait. No, I'm about at the same level as Orlando right now. And I think I've been down... Have I been down in Miami? Miami is further south than where I am right now on the map. But I feel good about where I'm at. Yeah, I feel good about it. I still kind of feel like I should tuck myself in beside the scale there. You know what? Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. Safer is always better. Just in case you don't want someone to drag their trailer into you. But then again, here I'm kind of off on my own, right? Maybe I should just turn around and go park over there. Hmm. You know what? No. No, I'm fine here. This is always a struggle for me. Finding a parking spot and sticking to it. I always want the best one, and I always feel like I, I could do better. But I think this is the best I can do. Thanks for joining me today, everybody. I'm almost in Mexico. Can you believe it? <laughs> this snow Mexican is almost in Mexico. <laughs> we'll see how tomorrow goes. I got a delivery at 9 p.m. tomorrow so I can sleep in I guess uh, I'll, I'll get up early anyways I'll probably run over see if I can get a shower here somewhere oh I want to clean the truck up a little bit I got work to do and we'll go deliver it and we'll see oh and plus I gotta try to get my reload organized so I gotta call into the load gods way back up in in Canada and tell them hey I'm gonna be like empty tonight like where do you want me to go from here because as soon as I'm empty I want to get out of here I want to go towards wherever my next load's gonna be figure that out then thanks everybody for watching if you've made it this far would you mind sharing it I mean if I've been able to hold your attention for this long maybe it's worth a share that's up to you if you want to share it on Facebook on X wherever you uh, wherever you want to I don't use threads anymore uh, I just I couldn't get into that platform I just I just don't like it uh, I found it to be kind of toxic, to be honest. It seems like, uh, you know, when Elon Musk bought X and, you know, there was this whole exodus over to threads and uh, I feel like a lot of the most toxic people went over to threads because all I see, I see so much hatred and like there's tons of anti-Semitism and tons of other, like, th that's what I kept getting fed. I don't know if like all of threads is like that, but all I, I ever kept seeing was just awful, awful, hateful stuff. And I just got sick of it. So I, I, I stopped using threads altogether. You can find me on Facebook. That's my primary social media platform. You can find me on X. Uh, links are down below in the description of my videos. Those uh, are the two places where you can find me. And of course, right here on YouTube is my absolute main platform. That's uh, the best place to find me. So thanks for watching. Once again, I think I've thanked you three times now. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Keep your stick on the ice.